So because no man is an island of his own, when people meet, they communicate, they inter- interact, and they also relate. And on today's life, it's Monday, we're going to be talking about work, workplace dynamic. When people meet at work, how do they relate? How do they interact? How do they communicate? And don't forget that these dynamics can either be positive or negative. And if you're talking about work, when it is positive, of course, it's going to lead to productivity. But when it is negative, ah, morals will go down. So let's talk about workplace dynamics. My name is Joyce Jakada. I have yours sincerely, Engineer Tony J. Jakadi. I nah, said <laughs> after <laughs> no, it's bad. <laughs> after the sabbatical, we miss you. I said we miss you. So must people know that I was on suspension? <laughs> eh? Must people know that, I went, on, must people know that I went on church discipline? <laughs> eh? It was not true. It was not true. If you believe this one, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm happy to be here, man. It's a great thing. I missed the show for about a whole week. Wow. Felt like a decade, man, but oh. but but it's great to be here again. You look fresh, like you had uh, some rest and. Jamima, welcome to the show. <laughs> Solomon <laughs> Welcome to the we show. We wanted to know. We wanted uh, to know the secrets Kada, now. Welcome. So we are talking about work dynamics <laughs> and uh, in uh, in. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is, is watching the show. He's saying they should have kept this man wherever he was. Why did they bring him back? Eh? The show was going on when now they have brought him back. I'm sorry to disappoint you, sir, but I'm back. Let's continue from where we stop. Yeah, happy to have you, but uh, man, have you I watched back. some of your episodes last week. <laughs> your take. That Wednesday show. <laughs> I'll I can't believe you, you came to church with with, with, a, with a very unholy topic. <laughs> in the midst of, in the thick midst of this economy. But the holy people have, have This harsh that's... economy, you are talking about libido. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord that will forgive you <laughs> is where with you. It was embedded in, in, in the holy people. No, but some yeah. people called me to say that they enjoyed the show. <laughs> that, uh, you actually treated their topic. <laughs> their topic. <laughs> People like uh, Hassan. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is MC around this? <laughs> Is MC around this? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> MCR called. That sound was clear. Picture was clear. And, uh, <laughs> No amen, signal amen, was lost. Amen, you know what? <laughs> no, no signal, signal was, was lost <laughs> at all. <laughs> the network was up. Like up. <laughs> Thank you, Linda, no for a wonderful transmission. You did well that, that week. <laughs> <laughs> that day particularly. <laughs> she did well. Wow. <laughs> all right, let's talk about workplace dynamic. One day is one of the days that people always say, oh, the day is here again. Why others are really excited that it's a fresh week for them to go again make it keep pushing so um the workplace is not without dynamics because you you don't work alone mm. of course even if you own the business you have people working for you if you are employed there are other people too that are also employed there so you work so people relate like i said no man is an island whether you like it or not as far as you work in an organization or in a place in a company you are a team because you're working towards one goal mm. so when they meet, they communicate, they interact, there's, they build relationship. Mm-hmm. I've had people say over and over again that workplace is not a place for friendship. It's a place that you make sure that things work. But people build friendship at work. And like I said, sometimes if it is positive, if that relationship or interaction is positive, you get productivity and job satisfaction. But where it tilts toward the negative, then it affects the productivity of the organization and even lower morale. So let, let's speak to workplace dynamics. Why did you disrespect <laughs> Mr. Francis Okori yesterday? <laughs> I, I'm lost. <laughs> now I'm asking you, tell us the reason why you disrespected the man. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Can you see? It's just, it's just, it's just an <laughs> obscure point. Mm. Mm. When you don't even know somebody, there's no, there's no disrespect between you and the person. Mm. Mm. If I had said, why did you disrespect Mr. Hassan yesterday? Mm. Do you know what will happen? Mm. You'll be like, 
you start thinking if you did that means chances are mm. that you <laughs> could have or maybe you did mm. why because mr hassan has opened himself to disrespect mm. by virtue of knowing him mm. mr francis okori is somewhere now somebody is bearing that name mm. but you don't know the person mm. So you are far f- he's far from being found for any disrespect mm-hmm. from you. Mm-hmm. People open themselves up to certain things that are either negative or positive mm-hmm. by how they behave, by how they deal with the issues of life at work. Mm-hmm. You are employed to be a gatekeeper. Mm-hmm. But you are always in the office of the coffee maker mm-hmm. of the office. Mm-hmm. What has iron gate iron got to do with coffee mm. nothing mm. but you see what you are not going there for is iron and coffee what you are going there for is conversation mm. and that is when you start talking to people before you know it hmm, that's how yesterday my husband <laughs> used iron and burned me on my hand <laughs> <laughs> you know we before you know it you start explaining Certain things, certain things. Do you tell us what led to the burning of that hand? Mm-hmm. Huh? I on why why were you passing well? No, you know, you are just trying to ah, that my husband, you know him. Small thing, you just say <laughs> before you know it, you start releasing information yeah. that people have no business knowing about your marriage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is what uncontrolled conversations can cause. Mm-hmm. And you will wonder why all of these points. Joyce, a lot of people are fed up at work, not because of their primary responsibilities, mm-hmm. but because of the embellishments that they have brought to add to work, mm. the negative ones. Mm. Mm. You will never enjoy work if that's all you do. Mm. Truly. Mm. You never you have to come up with devices. Mm. There's this guy I, I, I follow on, on Instagram. He's called the funny salesman. Mm. He sells um, liquids. He's an American. He sells liquids that you buy to clean surfaces at home. And he'll come with one and try to use it for you. Once you see it, you'll be forced to buy. But he starts telling you that if this doesn't work, we're going to have a Chinese president in America. So it's just funny. And people will laugh. And he'll tell you, uh, um, uh, what's this blind musician? Stevie Wonder. He'll tell you, ask Stevie Wonder, say, seeing is believing. <laughs> and you laugh. And before you know it, you are buying a pack or two or three. Mm-hmm. It's the same product that other people come to you and say, patronize our liquid soap, it mm-hmm. cleans, and you're like, please, I don't have time for that. Mm-hmm. But when he comes to you with that humor, with that comic relief, mm-hmm. with that, he's not just selling a product, he's also healing what you're going through at that point in time. Mm-hmm. What people fail to understand is when you look at your primary responsibility, without strategic means of delivering, you will fail. Mm -hmm. What is the failure? It's not that you will not deliver. No, you will deliver but in frustration. Mm -hmm. You will deliver but in frustration. Mm -hmm. So everybody must be strategic about their giving responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Whether it's at home, Mm -hmm. at work, wherever. Mm -hmm. Some of us take work home. Mm -hmm. The way we deal with work at home is different from the way we deal, but it's the same work. When it comes back to the office, it becomes work. But when you are dealing with it at home, mm-hmm. is what? It's not work. <laughs> you know, a little play with your child, a little mm-hmm. this, a little okay, mm-hmm. go to daddy, let me finish this. Mm-hmm. Before you know it, you have done three hours work mm-hmm. in less than 30 minutes and it's done well. Mm-hmm. But at work, Joyce, please, can I borrow that your small vaseline? I'm going on air, let me just. And you don't like sharing, mm-hmm. but you can't tell. Let me smell good. For who? Mm. Of course it's good, but Mm. you understand. Mm. But you just like being nosy in people's... And Joyce is not a friendly type. Mm. You know naturally Joyce, man. But we... Mm. She's not... She frowns at work. She doesn't (laughs) like people coming to her table. Once she starts coming, she'll be like... Mene. What's her son name, please? (laughs) (laughs) But some people, they laugh. They they are the ones that get into trouble. Just for laughing. You can imagine that laughter will put you in trouble. A happy thing puts you in trouble. So if we're talking about dynamics, Joyce, mm. work itself has dynamics. Mm. If you are not able to embellish your strategies, mm. I'm telling you, you will come to work frustrated and live frustrated daily. Mm. 
you know recently i saw a post on facebook and this lady was like if you are a primary school teacher and then you you the school is somewhere around refill resorts that's the place you just and then you you married a man from so so place and you are the breadwinner in your family and your husband has been irresponsible right now your colleague is gossiping about you with one of our neighbor I just say, let me let you know. <laughs> so she used the details of the gossip. Yeah. <laughs> and so where did this this colleague got? Uh, where did she get all this information? Of mm. course, from the the person. So you find out that people by <laughs> <laughs> by way of some people tell you, I can't keep it to myself. Like I need to. So they can't wait to get to the office so that they can narrate all their personal experiences. In fact, people go to the extent of sharing with their colleagues how. They relate with their partners. Like I'm talking about married people. Sexually. How, sexually. Mm -hmm. They 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 interact. They they tell their colleagues about that. Mm -hmm. So they go to the extent of bringing everything that is personal to them to their colleagues. So like you rightly said, time for work, but you spare that time out to talk about personal issues. And this person is on Facebook saying, if you are so so person, you work in the primary school, your husband is from this place, and you are the breadwinner. Mm -hmm. And then your husband has been irresponsible. Your colleague is just in one of our neighbor now about what you told her. Do you know what, Joyce? Mm. Uh, well, I've been, I haven't been around for a whole week, so maybe <laughs> <laughs> you have the show today. <laughs> no, I, I need some sense of compensation. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but let's let's look at let's look at it this way. What is wrong in telling your business? Absolutely nothing. Mm. The problem is who you are telling. And where you are telling. That is the problem. <laughs> who and where. That's the problem. And but the there's nothing wrong. And the Listen, let me be honest with you. Mm. There's nobody mm. who does not discuss anything about himself with someone. There's True. nobody. True. Let's not pretend. Yes, mm. yes. Your sex life, whether as a single, mm. or I know today is not Wednesday, but whether as a <laughs> single, <laughs> or as a married person, or whoever you discuss, mm. But some people discuss for help. Mm. Mm. Some people discuss for bragging sake. That, that, that's how my neighbor mm. ended up mm. running away with her older sister's husband. Mm. Mm. Yeah. In uh, Abuja. Mm. Wow. Because the sister would be like, this is my husband. Hey, I can't wait for him to come back from work. He's my this, he's my dad. Daddy, this one. People will come to make her hair. She will talk about her husband. Mm. She will talk about how good he is. She talk about how this. <laughs> her younger sister was hearing. She was mm. she was rounding up university with them. Mm. She was serving. Mm. She started serving and all of that. Mm. Till her younger sister started tasting. Mm. Till she lost the marriage. Mm. Now you see, if you are talking about your sex life, because you need help. Why are you talking about it to somebody that is not a professional in that mm. field? Mm. Jemima cannot help you. Talk to Solo. He's a pro. Mm. Mm. Not Sam Bodo. <laughs> 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 I thought he didn't get the message. <laughs> no, Memo that is clearly written. No, 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 no. Memo that is clearly written. No, 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 no. Yeah. And you we'll, see, we'll call the, <laughs> the, the problem is we talk to wrong people about mm. the right things. Mm. I'm not a medical doctor. What are you talking to me about sexual organs for? Mm. I don't know. Mm. When you have an issue mm. that you think I can help you with, mm. and you can trust me with these issues, believe me, I've said it here at times I cannot count. The most difficult is to keep a secret. Because <laughs> mm. when you tell, I'm telling. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are watching, if you tell, I'm telling. So it's better not to tell. Mm. Uh -uh. If I don't know it, what will I say? I can't just go and form. Of course. Uh -huh. Like uh, Linda was telling me that. Uh, hey, uh, Linda is already begging you. <laughs> offset. No, it's not uh, Linda. Okay. Uh, it's Ooh. Linda Philip. Uh, sorry. Ah. Linda Barnabas. <laughs> you see, but the point, Joyce, is mm. why would a married man go mm. to a beer parlor mm. and be saying his wife is useless? Mm. And then it's the man that will be saying, ah, ah, another man will be saying, why would you be insulting your wife like that? I say, ah, ah, this is three months now. If I thought her, she would turn this way. If I thought her, mm. so who will give you solution in that kind of situation? Mm -hmm. mm. Nobody. Nobody. 
The same thing. Why would you carry your work issue? You are working with Zenith Bank International. Mm. Then you go to a staff of microfinance bank local. Mm. <laughs> I start discussing mm. our GM. Do they even have GM in microfinance <laughs> bank? They have head of units. <laughs> No, I'm just, I'm just teasing. I'm just yes, teasing. Yes. People need to laugh as well. Mm-hmm. You know? Moreover, they have missed me. If they have missed me, say yeah. No yeah from anywhere. So, the, 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 the reality is, Joyce, mm-hmm. people should talk. If you are going through something, mm-hmm. even if it's at work, mm-hmm. talk about it. Mm-hmm. But that's not what we're talking about. We're mm-hmm. talking about the dynamics of work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're mm-hmm. talking about you being serious. We're talking about delivery. Mm-hmm. Not a quality delivery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you have a show, and you work in a, in, 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 in a setting like this, mm. what are people looking out for? Mm. Do you know right now, the day that Solo is not on this set, mm. somebody's like, oh, anyway, I'll just watch though. Mm. The day Jemima is not around, ah! <laughs> anyway, all of them are equal to the tax mm. also. Mm. Jemima is the main thing we are also. Mm. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. Mm. So, it's, 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 there is a, the, they say there is a, what do, there is something that they used to say. Uh, different strokes for different folks. Sure. So everybody has what he prefers. But you see, when you're talking about work, when you meet somebody that you're equal, what do you think possibly can come out of that this conversation best? Mm. The person is your equal, mm. is your contemporary, mm. is not any more experience than you. Mm. And nothing. You are, uh, you are floating on the same level. Mm. Why are you telling the person? You see, any time I am asked to balance account, it's a problem for me. But if I'm asked to do draft and all of this one, it's easy for me. The accountants now. Mm. Mm. Who are you telling? The same person that is struggling as well? Mm. Mm. No, you have more seniors. You have more senior people. <laughs> you have Anan. You have Icon. Even though it's not all of them that can... You see some people that don't have jack. Mm. They are dealing with all of this. But if you identify that Solo has a solution mm-hmm. because he's, mm-hmm. he has, he's mm-hmm. edgy, then I can talk to Solo. True. If Solo can be quiet, that's mm-hmm. if the thing will be a problem for me. There are people mm-hmm. that don't care. If they get help, if you like, go and broadcast it. They don't care. Mm-hmm. So far, they have gotten help. Yeah. They don't care. True. But there are some people it becomes w- much more worse than mm. the problem itself. Mm. Not letting people know mm. what their secret is, mm. you know, is a huge problem. When you let people know what their secret is, is a huge problem than the main problem itself. Mm. So when you are talking, I just figured out, there's nothing wrong when you start telling people, this is what you are going through. But when you talk because you are looking for help, it's okay. But when you talk because you want to mock your husband or your wife mm-hmm. or your friend mm-hmm. or your colleague or your sister or your brother, nephew, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. I think that is totally unacceptable. Very, mm-hmm. very true. And workplace dynamics as well. I think it has to do with you understanding what the workplace requires of mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Every workplace has different um, things, just like different strokes for different folks mm. so understanding what they demand from you and what you need to do just mm. like you give an example of working here you know that you have a show to do mm. and you're not ready um, your, your script whatever it is you have worked on you're not ready for that you go on set you're not delivering mm. you know that you are um, going against what that workplace um, requires from you so having an understanding of that helps you to achieve more then communication as well you know you have something to do you communicate to the right channel Mm -hmm. who is supposed to be responsible for what i am doing have i communicated Mm -hmm. if i am not to communicate directly to them i go to the right channel and make Mm -hmm. sure that everything works in place so that if something else is not working it hands hands will not be pointed at you Mm -hmm. because you have done your own part Mm -hmm. and then doing all that you can to gain the respect that you deserve Mm -hmm. um You cannot get respect if you're not giving it out. Mm. And then you cannot get respect if you're not doing the needful. Mm. So going on to do what you need to do makes you get that respect that you deserve Mm. and also helps people that are looking up to you to Mm. also step up and do more than they are doing. And that issue of strategy is very, very important Mm. because um, for you to strategize, Mm. definitely you must have understood the, the dynamics of what you are about to strategize. Mm. So, <coughs> it is very, very important 
to know the the nitty gritty, the dynamic, because you have to break it down. What is what is being required in that particular organization, and what's your responsibility? Understanding your responsibility, and then know that we have different cubicles, and then we have hierarchy. Knowing that fully, and then you are out for results because we are talking work. You are out for impact. You are all out to solve issues, whatever is being brought uh, brought uh, before you. Mm. It is very good to be intentional. It is very, very important for you to be intentional about being strategizing because this issue of strategy <coughs> is not only... Um, it's not only during work, if you allow me. I would say <coughs> strategy, if you understand strategy well, it impl it, it, uh, it, it's something that I would say is about life generally. Because if you know the reason why you are living, mm. then definitely you have to strategize to bring out results because mm. of the reason why you are living. Mm -hmm. Because we have a reason why we are being created. We are created to make impact, mm. to solve uh, problems. Mm. How are you going to go about solving that problem? Mm. Is this something that is personal or is this something that is organizational? You have to identify that. And then something that I will do that is personal, the strategy may be different mm. from the one that the organization have set, yeah. you know, because they have their own goal, they have their own target, how they want to achieve, and then they break it down to your own cubicle mm. so that you'll be part of the team that will all come together from different cubicles to bring out that result, that required result, you know, mm -hmm. that goal that that particular organization want to achieve. Because I, I hear you always talk about this strategy and it sank very well, you know, in me. And anytime I think about anything, I think about the strategy. If mm -hmm. you are going forward, there's something you want to achieve. If you don't have strategy, forget it. You forget it because you just end up doing the normal thing. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find out some organizations are just doing the normal. Mm -hmm. And they're there. You remember one time on this set, we mm -hmm. talk about how some organizations are just there. Mm -hmm. Some of them are just living by their past glory mm -hmm. because they kept doing the normal thing. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why they are where they are. Mm -hmm. You know, not thinking that the wall is moving. The wall is, is like moving like with the speed of light. Mm -hmm. And then you are there. You are not strategizing. You are not thinking that things will be like this and you are not strategizing. Mm -hmm. So the strategy that we are talking about, yes, I have this, but how do I navigate? This is the problem, but how do I navigate to get solution to it and how fast? Mm -hmm. That is it. Some can take one week. What is required of you to solve that issue? Is the organization looking at one week mm -hmm. or three days mm -hmm. or maybe one day or two hours? Mm -hmm. How do you achieve that? The speed, the strategy will help you to achieve that. Mm. And I feel you knowing that will help you to know that, yes, these are the dynamics. Now understanding how Joyce <laughs> operates, understanding how I operate, you and also, and then how the organization operates. Mm. And then you work together to achieve that particular goal, mm. which is being designed. Failing to do that, it just shows that you don't even know the reason why you are there in the first place. You can just be that normal person. There are certain factors that Factor. contribute to, to that, actually. And I would like mm. us to also talk about that. Like um, office politics. Mm. I know, like Engineer Tony rightly said earlier, on, there are times that certain things, there are conflicts within you that um, probably it has nothing to do with work, but maybe some challenges that you're faced with. Mm. But who do you talk to as much as the office expect or your work expect delivery and result like that's just what the organization or work expects from you mm. result or delivery mm. whichever word you, you you can use that's what your organization requires of you the organization is not really thinking about the challenges outside of work or the challenges within you mm. and sometimes as individuals you might be faced with some of these challenges trials and you're just wondering so I can't work. Just when I'm trying to put in effort, the thoughts keep coming. Mm. And that's why he said earlier, who do you talk to? Mm. There's nothing wrong in talking, but who are you actually talking okay. to? There are times that you feel troubled and you confide in your head and mm. 
this has been affecting me and this has been affecting it can be a colleague that you trust this has been affecting this has been affecting and, and sometimes words of consolation come advice come and even ways to navigate those challenges and you see you feel better there are times that there are certain people around you that you trust them that sometimes when you talk to you get encouraged and then you see you're back to yourself and you are putting up work but those office politics those dynamics negative dynamics stop one from delivering or even bringing results and that's why earlier i said it can be positive it can be negative when it is positive the organization gets productivity there's always result but when it tilts towards negative it affects work it affects because the time that is supposed to be put into work you are using it for to engage in negative activities for example when we talk about office politics there are a lot of people that in offices places of work they engage or indulge in gossiping office gossiping there are some that in, in, indulge in activities like, oh, I want to be the favorite. Favoritism, it can be from the top to like uh, uh, maybe let's say a staff or from the staff wanting to be the favorite. And then they engage in all sorts of activities just to get to the top. For others, it is battle for position. Mm. Like some people, they are not comfortable if they are not heading. Mm. They are, in fact, I, I, I was opportunity to attend a meeting where you spoke at and then just that day, while the, the commissioning of that hub, somebody was like, I can't wait for this to come so that I can be among the escorts. Mm. Like for some people, <laughs> if they are not in position, <laughs> like they are not happy. So you see, they will distract work. They will distract other people. They will indulge people. Even when certain individuals are trying to put in effort to ensure that they bring results or deliver. They want to distract them, bring them to their own cubicle to see how that this person is doing terribly. Mm. Like, why do they have to put this if it were me or if it were you, Seth? Mm. You, you're just trying to corrupt your mind so that... So how, how do you deal with people like that when you walk in a place and you have certain people could, that have constitute maybe a clique that they are always engaging in this office politics, either gossip, trying to be favorite or... There, are two, out for. there are two things that I would say. Mm certain damages you just have to <coughs> do away with the damager mm. so that you don't face such damages the mm. second thing is do you have time to deal with them if you keep them mm. Mm. because the essence of the person's existence is to damage mm. that means the more you keep the person he will damage or she will damage mm. So, you have to keep fixing what they are damaging. If they are there for 12 years, mm. you have to keep fixing for 12 years. Mm. If you have the strength, the energy, the money, the resources to fix what is damaged, do you have the time? Mm. 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 So many organizations today face that. I see it. Mm. I see it. Mm. People face, people do stuff. Check for instance. No organization exists without, even if it's just a sentence or two of policy. Mm. Yeah, true. But people mess up in such organizations every day. Nobody goes back to the policy to see what is written mm. against that. Mm. How can you strive? Mm. That is why you see organizations are deteriorating mm. every day. Because you are failing to go and check what is the punishment for this, for this, and for this. Yeah. Mm. And once you overlook one, you overlook all. Of course. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> we should, we should suspend Jemima. <laughs> it's not you carry paper suspend her. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's the point. Mm. Why can Jemima not be touched? Mm. Because she's dating a mm. boss mm. or the person that has power mm -hmm. to suspend. You see meeting, oh, hot, everybody is sweating. In this organization, we are not going to accept that. <laughs> it's not just the organizer that is saying it. Even mm. Jemima has something to contribute. Mm. Mm. But the first culprit is Jemima. Mm. And you are like, oh, if she has done that, what is our policy saying? <laughs> Six months suspension? At least give her three, so that it will be an example. She's a senior staff. Mm. <laughs> are you the one that will write it? Who will decide mm. it? You people know now, mm. if you carry this thing to the GM, once you see Jemima's name, you'll keep it by the side. Mm. 
and it's regular. Mm-hmm. Wherever you we are talking about office politics, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that is it. Mm-hmm. True. Mm-hmm. While the GM is keeping that document by the side, he is praying on the other side for Solo to fall the same trap hmm. so that he will deal with him. It is a system that you cannot correct. Haven't you seen leaders blaming heads of departments and units in different places for doing right? Hmm. True. It's, it has even cost some people their jobs. Hmm. That's true. You did right on top of directors directed <laughs> or directors directed or commissioners commissioning hmm. no look at government so many people do nonsense in government and get away with it I was it. going to say hmm. no wonder the high rate of crime we have because a lot of people not, no deterrence did you see every day there is more a video, people there is a video that is trending Joyce hmm. there is a video that is trending of a lady that was going to Sokoto mm. to get her her name registration from a polytechnic mm-hmm. that she was beaten by a police officer or a military man he mm. broke her head like mm-hmm. that mm. why because he said she looks like prostitute mm. mm-hmm. and there was a lecturer from that same polytechnic in the same bus mm. and he was the one that recorded mm. and collected the girl's number and sent her the videos and told her to make the viral. Mm. Mm. Do you know what? He told her, he said, I will kill you here. Nothing will happen. He said, if I don't kill you today, tomorrow I will kill you. Mm. The video is viral. The girl is asking, please, people should help her. This guy has promised her. And she came to school. Mm. If if it were me, I'll just carry my daughter. That's mm. not the only school in the country. True. I'll remove my daughter before they kill her and say sorry for me. Mm. Mm. You know how this system is? Mm. A governor steals 120 million naira. He's in prison. The same another governor steals 10.7 trillion naira. <laughs> he celebrated in the same country. True. Where do you think you will ever get justice? Mm. So you see, everybody should work on making himself a go-getter, an mm. achiever. True. Mm. When you hear names like Dora Akunili, Mm. Till today in her death, she still celebrated. Mm. She stood for excellence. Mm. When you hear names like Ngozi Ikonjo Iwela, mm. you start celebrating people like that. Mm. When you hear engineer Tony J. Nakali, mm. you start celebrating people like that. <laughs> you see, you didn't even clap for them, Dora. You are Media. clapping for me. Media. But, but I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just teasing. Mm. But definitely, how do you feel mm. that they say, Joyce Jakarta, and then they say, who is that? Mm. Mm she's doing today's life where mm. <laughs> no d- d- how do you feel mm, how do you mm, feel mm, mm, mm. they say ah uh-uh, i know today's life does she join them is mm. it all okay that one she at least says anything reasonable mm. how do you feel mm. that is why it must be an intentional effort True. and i keep telling True. you guys True. that you grow to a level mm-hmm. that equa television cannot do without you mm-hmm. you grow to a level that your community cannot do without. Yeah. You grow to a level. In the same Nigeria, we are seeing people that are praying to God mm. for four years to finish so that their leaders will go. Mm. But we see people that are also praying for God to slow out the years mm. because they don't want the leader to go. Mm-hmm. What is the problem? Mm. Investment. Mm. You have to invest on who you are. Mm. Some people are just comfortable being where they are. Mm. And these are people who don't care about achieving anything. Mm. How can you not want to be further, but you want to achieve? Mm. Like, yes. like um, I, I made a post yesterday, I said, optimism mm. is the only thing you need for achievement. Mm. If you are optimistic that mm. you can get it. Mm. There are people right now, they are, they are employed in Equa Television mm. to do camera work. Mm. But when your laptop is bad, they will come and fix it for you. Mm. But that's not what they are employed to do. Mm. extra. Mm. We live in a world where economy, not just in Nigeria, in the whole world over, mm. is biting hard. Mm. Unfortunately, some people are comfortable with one job. Mm. Women are comfortable with one job. Mm. Mm. What is the highest salary now in our setting? Mm. Talking about minimum wage and highest. Mm. Is, is there a salary that is above 500000 What can he buy for you in a month? 
you have three children. What is their fees? Okay, what are their fees? <laughs> 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 if you count the three children, how much are you paying? Mm. Mm. I was talking to a very rich individual. The person said, ah, these Jews, 4,010 packs, a pack of 10. Mm. One pack with 10 bottles. Mm. He says 4,000. So, if you have two children, mm. they will take 4,000 of juice only every week. Mm. Every week. In 10 weeks, which is like a quarter, less than a quarter. On juice only, you have spent 40,000 on two children. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> only two children. If there is more than one, it's children. No, no. If it's three or four <laughs> children. We don't yeah. this clappy for you. <laughs> and what? <laughs> but look at mm. it. The economy is biting out. The richest are crying. Mm. The the rich mm. are crying. The poor are crying. Right. The poor are crying. The poorest are crying. Mm. If you have money, your wife is dealing with you. Mm. If you have peace at home, there is no money. There is something <laughs> that is always... And people will sit down and they are okay mm. with where they are in life. God mm. forbid, sir. Mm. I, think I was talking to you earlier mm. today. Mm. She said, ah, I thought you are somewhere arrested. I said, yes. Mm. <laughs> then she heard that I blew a three. Friday, 6 a.m. And I blew 5 a.m. On my way back this morning. She said, I thought you were somewhere. I said, I want the wall. Mm. Either I get it or I die trying. Mm. Mm. Ah, you should die for something. At least if you, don't just say he slept and, uh, no. Mm -mm. After 10, the landlord is asking, to I move to YZ behind the event. <laughs> no. <laughs> Half achievement. I'm not saying go and kill yourself, but mm -hmm. whether you like it or mm. not, if you believe in death, it will come. Mm. Sure. But people should wake up and make a mark. Mm. All this, I cannot go and kill myself. You are, you are joking. Mm. You are not ready to live. Mm. The Bible says they that want to save their souls, they will lose it. Mm. And those that want to lose it, mm. that's why we keep saving. Some, if some people try 50% of what I, they would, they would have been forgotten. Mm. I told someone she was saying now that she's tired of, she's tired of work. I said, find some, just leave it now, go and sleep. And how will I pay the bills? I'm, I'm not tired. Though. I will do this work. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not you see, mm. negative dynamics, like they are there. Mm. But as individual, you must be determined. Mm. You must stay focused. That regardless of this thing, there are a lot of people that have given up. What is the, of the drive of everybody? Mm. Mm. What is the drive? You know, mm. I, I, no, I was not here last week. <laughs> <laughs> what is the drive? Take it. <laughs> what is the drive? So, truly, mm. this, thing, this thing disturbs me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 15 years, 20 years, mm. 25 years, somebody is working in a secretariat. Mm. Mm. Leave the house in the morning, mm. go to secretariat, Three o'clock, you are back home. <laughs> Just bring radio and mat and put on that TV and be listening to. And you watch your children. Mm. One is doing uh, cleaning here. One is doing. You are happy. You are burning every every year. Mm. Giving birth. What is your drive? Mm. Meanwhile, there is another person. Mm. Once he's closing from that secretariat, he's going to another rich man's house to wash and clean. Yeah. Mm. 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 And then she's still asking. Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you see, be doing something. yes, they will sponsor children in university, mm -hmm. they will do all of that. Mm -hmm. The other one, the mm -hmm. daughter is in Abuja everywhere, mm -hmm. but no achievement. Mm -hmm. They will come and call us for burial. Because they are always dying. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of girls that left Joss. Mm -hmm. If they were enthusiastic about education, Mm. as much as they are about life, mm. they would have made it. Mm. That thing that you are looking for, eventually it would have been in your hands by yeah. ease, at ease. Mm. What mm. is your drive? Mm. You, people come to work without drive. Mm. And that is why we are having this topic today. Mm. We are talking about the dynamics of work. Mm. Nobody, uh, uh, apart from I have a job, mm. what else is the drive? Mm -hmm. You ask somebody, say, ah, uh, um, Solo is not coming on you. Stay. Ah, no. Ah, That today's life, I will not, don't even try it. I will not mm. feature in today's life. Mm. It's not that the person does not want to do. The person does not have capacity. Mm. Mm. What will it cost you? The person does not have capacity. Mm. He, he doesn't have a drive. Mm -hmm. Look at leaders everywhere. Mm. Look at fathers everywhere. Mm. Look at workers everywhere. Mm. I, saw, I saw a very funny video old men 
They are painters. They were just existing, touching their phone, doing the work. When they heard a, the young man that gave them the work coming, see how old men rose up. They were painting, rubbing the paint on their body. And all that. Who are you deceiving? Who are you deceiving? You collect this money, it doesn't go anywhere. Today you hear that somebody is looking for where he will invest 25 million into four places. Mm. Not because of him. Oh. He has children. And then he goes out and keeps hustling. Mm. Mm. He goes out and keeps hustling. What is your drive? Mm. People drive big car, you call them Yahoo boys. Mm. Mm. People build houses, say blood money. You go and do it. It's motivation for the laziness now. The same. <laughs> That's the motivation. And, you, and, and I, I think you talk <laughs> about the drive. This nonsense. It's, mm. it's annoying. Mm. It's annoying. Mm. Look at it now, sir. Mm. I'm sorry to cut you. No, no. But look at it now. Mm. Go to a church on Sunday. Mm. If you hear the needs of the church, mm. it's as if if the church does not meet the need, the name of Jesus will stop being pronounced. Mm. Do, do you understand? Mm. I'm not saying echo. I'm saying every church you go to, mm. there, every Sunday there must be need. Mm. As if the church is created to solve needs. Mm. It's mm. a house of worship. Mm. Mm. You are the one that put hands in things that businesses that don't consign no business with church. Mm. Mm. Now you are crying. Mm. Now you are crying. Even the businesses that you have put in, when they bring money, you don't bring it back to the church. Mm. Let's be realistic. Mm. Why will you not cry? Mm. nobody wants to be strategic about anything mm. let the money keep coming mm. in how how, how? Mm. you hear somebody waking up he's, he's a, he wants to do a project of 300 million yet his income is 150,000 when he finally does it you say mm. 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 <laughs> a friend of mine was telling me that please I should talk to so 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 person so that they will finish paying his friend. That they paid him 18 point, is it 18.2 billion? Mm. 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 Yes. That his money is remaining almost 20 billion. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yes. I, start, I started thinking. <laughs> I started thinking. I said, Kai. Say okay. Kai. Hmm. Kai. Joyce, have you entered Abuja recently? Mm. You see young men trying to make ends meet. Mm. You are talking about a good car, they have two or three. You are talking about a good house. They have tenants. You are talking, but you are still asking them what are they looking for in life? Mm. Mm. It's called drive, sir. Mm -hmm. It's called drive. Mm -hmm. If for you to live the kind of life you want, you must drive that high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you, you look at them. They will be saying, "Ah, solo, when I, you are going back tomorrow, Kai, things are not really working well. Oh, I bet take two hundred thousand buy fuel. Mm. My friends have given me two hundred thousand several times to buy fuel, mm. and they are still complaining." And I'm here, I'll come and be saying I'm GM. Of what? <laughs> this life, I'm not saying I'm not happy where God has mm. kept me. Mm. But people must realize that if you must make a mark, mm. the Bible says money answered all things. If you mm. don't have it, forget. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, mm. a bishop said anointing without money is mm. annoyance. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all these things, they are, they are definitely principal to it. It was just yesterday on the news, I, I saw how that um, Dangote is trying is looking out to utilize local sugar cane instead of importing some raw material. Like what kind of money, what achievement has this individual not gotten? Mm. But there's still a drive mm. within to do more. Mm. Till tomorrow, mm. Dubai mm. is still importing sand mm. to Dubai. Till tomorrow. Mm. It's a desert. They are kind of sand cannot build houses to collapse. So they have to dig import sand from mm. Australia and all of these places. They are buying sand. Mm. Because gravels and concrete mm. cannot mix, uh, mix their gravels, mm. cannot mix concrete, cannot mix with their kind of sand. Mm. They, nobody has sand like them in the world. It's desert. Mm. But their sand is useless. Mm. They, ha they have to import sand from somewhere. Mm. Are, are you thinking? Mm. Joyce, I have lived in Las Vegas. Mm. It's desert. The water they drink in, they, let me say we, the water we drink in Las Vegas is coming from California. Four hours journey. Hmm. Imagine that they say Kaduna hmm. State is what is giving Plateau State water. The hmm. day the governor is angry, you say, off the water now. <laughs> let them die, all of them, since they will not vote our candidate. Hmm. It's true. Hmm. Guess what? I went to the biggest dam hmm. in Vegas. I met the old man that has been working there for about 28 or 38 years. I cannot remember. In 2011 or so. 
he said for over 40 years nobody has drank a drop of the water mm. from that dam mm. yet he purifies it every week mm. Mm. every week is that water is purified mm. just imagine that is our dear country mm. somebody will allow people to shit in the water cows will drink the water flies everything mm. sir for over 40 years that's where they wa- they drink water from a different state mm. That dam is plan D. Yes. In case that yes, way. in case something happens. And I was in the same Vegas one time. They announced that there will be power outage for four hours to do a statewide maintenance. Mm. Sir, they announced it a month before that power outage. All mm. the hotels in Vegas and neighboring states were all fully booked mm. because people could not stay four hours without light. They would rather check into a hotel where there is alternative source of power and mm. all of that and stay for that period and go home the next day. Mm. What what is the do you understand what I'm saying? So, mm. Some people have left this level that me and you are. Mm. Mm. When you are talking about some people have left it, they don't even remember. When you tell certain people that certain things happen, they are laughing, they think you are lying. Come mm. to Africa. Mm. 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 And it's our attitude towards mm. work. Mm. Mm. If Africa shuts it its doors to every foreign investor and everything and we start tapping what we are within Africa. Mm. Let us be, to, to just, just start United States of Africa. You will see Africa will be the richest. Mm. But because these people know mm. they use mindset mm. to trap us. Religion, governance, everything. They gave us a fake manual mm. and we are unwilling participants to develop our own manual to become who we are. Mm. Why will I not, as an in- individual, wake up and have a drive? Mm. Why Why not? Mm. Because I want to stand out. Mm-hmm. Mm. If you are comfortable with poverty, I wish mm. you the best. Mm. If you are comfortable with luck, I wish you the best. Mm. I have good cars. I'm not happy. Mm. I need mm. better ones. Mm. I want my children to be better schools. Mm. Uh, I want my son to graduate and they say he's from Harvard. I want to hear that. Mm. But you see, I can't do that now, but I'm working towards, towards it. it. Is either I die trying or rapture comes and meet me while I'm trying. But rapture cannot come and meet me folding my hands and say, Kai, this thing, you have to take it easy. What will be, will be. How? Miracle. Yes, Let the sleeping dog lie. <laughs> no, sometimes I wake that dog up. Let me see what the dog is made up of. Mm. If he bites me, I can say, this dog, <laughs> next time, I will be the one to bite. So dog can bite. Mm. How, how do you know the ability of a dog if he's not, if he's not awake? Mm. No, it's not like uh, <laughs> you will assume that maybe honestly, <laughs> solo. There are a lot of people that don't have a single drive in life. Mm. Mm. There's football we used to play when we were kids, anywhere Pele face mm. post is here, but the ball is <laughs> bam, everybody will start running. That's how some people are aimless in life. Mm. And upon that, you meet a man you don't know him, you follow him, mm. and he's also driveless. Mm. So, you mm-hmm. have a car, no driver. Hmm. Two of you are always inside. Going where? Oh, that's a terrible. Uh, not covering distance. <laughs> <laughs> but you are in the car. AC is on. You are not covering distance. Hmm. You see, you it, right now, when you brought that topic, hmm. I started thinking, hmm. why will I surround myself with people that have heads but is empty? Hmm. You have friends now. All they are discussing is hook up. Hmm. If you get good man, connect us <laughs> with your friends. Connect us with to his friends. Mm. Why? So that if they give you 10k, us two will get 5k. Mm. Selling your body. The day that you don't get that body mm. to sell or anybody to buy, mm-hmm. you become frustrated. Mm. Meanwhile, your mates, look at the lady that was made commissioner of uh, at NCC. Mm. It's a plateau lady, a young lady. A director was made a director, a commissioner in NCC, S- N- N- C- Nigeria Communications Commission. Some of us are just here playing. You are thinking that the people that are there have two heads. No, mm-hmm. they are just pushy. Mm-hmm. They don't know half as much what you know. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the way I used to know that I'm intellectual mm-hmm. is when I look at other people that do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Sit down with them and talk. Empty. Mm-hmm. Apart from that topic that they are discussing on air, there's nothing more in the head. Mm-hmm. So that's how you know that you are you have an edge over them. Mm-hmm. 
I already promised you that I've not been here all week last week. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm covering distance. Mm. <laughs> you have covered in DJ. Okay, it's, it's important. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's important. We, Thank we, you. We, off we my mic. We truly <laughs> miss you. <laughs> but one, one vital point. I, I think when you think about um, what is happening entirely, globally, mm. and then you look at it that means you narrow it down to your environment mm. and then you begin to see what is driving you and what is driving others mm. and then sometimes we talk with bitterness mm. anger because in your mind you are thinking what is this person thinking yeah. and what is this lady thinking because there was a day and i said it here i i, I woke up in the morning and i'm just feeling like not going anywhere mm. Mm. so after devotion mm. then I just say, let me just pick my thing. Because I woke up early. So, I believe the Holy Spirit directed me. Because that video just pop, pop up. And then I have nothing to... Like, I just say, let me just watch. And watch him. He said, that job is not paying you. But wake up. Dress up. Thank God that you have a job. From that job that is not paying you, somebody doesn't have a job. Mm. So keep pushing. Keep doing your part. Till a better one, till comes. A better one comes. Mm. It's just a video for someone out there. It's not that I was complaining bitterly, but I was. Uh, this is normal that you wake up and then you just feel whatever. I said, wow. So I don't have reason. I don't have reason. And you, you see, sometimes you talk about the people you keep around you. It's more than that. The things you read, the things you engage. Like you always say, things you allow to into get you. into yeah. you. They finally form the total you mm. and your behavior and everything about you. So it is very, very important for us to know that as long as we are living you know that you are to make impact. But what kind of impact? Mm. You should ask yourself. Mm. And when you ask yourself what the kind of impact you want to make and you are created for, that will give you that drive. Unfortunately, most of us are just, our drive is for survival. It's not for living. Mm. Our drive is just, just for survival. To just to help men, like, what let me just go is. get that 5,000 Buy this, buy Gary, buy this, buy this. Okay, Muna Hanu, Allah. Tomorrow, tomorrow we go again. <laughs> we go again. <laughs> yes. You understand? So what, what, is, what is that drive? If you are driving to leave, then you will know the responsibility is bigger than you just meeting day-to-day needs. Like you said earlier, some people are, have, are investing hundreds and billions of naira. Not for them. What they are aiming in their mind they are looking for financial freedom mm. and stability. Mm, so Once you are in that pit, mm. it, it, it doesn't mean that until you get trillion, mm. that means you are at that level of finance. It can just be one million. Mm. It can ju- I'm just saying, it mm. can just be one million. Mm. But at that point, what are you impacting with that one million at that level? Mm. If that's the level that God keeps you. What are you? What What is that drive? That 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 solution that you are creating? That's so it is very question. important mm. for us to know that mm. we should not live just to survive, mm. but we should we should live in order to make impact. Mm. And having mm. that positive drive, mm. that motivation, mm. is what helps you in that workplace and generally in life as well. Mm. Not looking at um, just like Joyce to always say. The motivation of those that did not go to school is to see that those who went don't have Failing. jobs. So you should not base your drive and motivation on the failure of True. others. Mm. But instead, put it on people's successes mm. and aim to even go way above Both. what mm. they have achieved. It mm. is important that... Okay. Late okay. Joyce will say, you, s- you keep saying all fingers are not equal, must you be the shortest? <laughs> You, you don't have to be the shortest. <laughs> Why would you be the, 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 the longest one? So it's indeed great having you all. Welcome back. Thank great you. um you. discussion. And to our viewers out there, thank you so much for staying with us on today's edition of Today's Life. Indeed, no man is an island. And as we work, we communicate, we interact, and we relate. But stay focused. 
have a driving force to what you are doing don't just be that person that just walks to pay bills and that's just the totality of your existence but live to make impacts let the world know and remember you for what you have done the bible say guard your heart with all diligence because out of it are the issues of life so let's stay focused and do the needful until we come your way tomorrow same time thank you equa executive thank you equa television supporters cast and crew we really appreciate you and to you that stay with us till the end thank you so much see you tomorrow bye bye <laughs>